Buenos dias. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Bisagi for having me in Catalyst 18, and also thank you for attending my presentation. This event offers a great opportunity for us to share, to network and collaborate on strategies for accelerating our digital transformation. Allow me to introduce myself. I've been working for the finance industry for more than 20 years, and I'm currently the VP of Client Services and Operations within Bank Colombia. I've also worked in areas such as administration services, IT, six years in IT, distribution channels, and marketing. I will be happy to answer any questions regarding Bank Colombia's experience at the end of the presentation. Before starting, I would like to ask a couple of questions. How many of you have implemented robotics in your organizations? Okay. And how many of you are using the Visagi live process functionality? Okay. And how many of you have combined robotics with Visagi live processes? Few one. Okay, great. Uh, I'll give a quick overview of the Bank Colombia Group. We have the largest bank in Colombia with 23% uh, of the market share. We also have a little presence in Peru with an asset management and leasing operations. We bought the HFBC operation in Panama, today Banismo being the second largest bank in the country. We have Banco Agricola in El Salvador, the largest bank with 28, 30% of the market share. And we also have 60% uh, of the shares of Banco Agromercantil in Guatemala, being the third largest bank in this country. As you can see, some figures, 70 billion in assets, more than 11 uh, customers, and in the uh, leading uh, distribution network, I would like to mention something very important. More than 10,000 banking agents. Banking agents are basically partnership we have with small shops, pharmacies, and supermarkets, which offer basic cashier services. These are some of our milestones and achievements. I'm not going into detail, but we are very proud that last year we were named by Robeco Sam as the fifth most sustainable bank in the world. Last month, we were named by the same organization as the most sustainable bank in the world. So you can see on the screen there are some uh, milestones and, and achievements, very important for us. Okay, going to our strategy, we have uh, five st strategy pillars. One of these is customer experience, which we believe is key to future growth and sustainability. Excellence in operations and technology is the strategy I would like to focus on today. The basis of this is to provide the highest quality services in the most efficient way. And I'm going to explain later how Visagi is supporting us in our strategy. It's something very important as excellence and in operations and technology. Let's move to our digital transformation journey. We are working on incremental, differential, and radical innovation. I'll start with incremental. Here we are focused on profitability and efficiency. And we are uh, developing new products and new channels as the banking agents I mentioned before. On the differential innovation, we have been working in uh, increase our performance workforce and also we are implementing agile philosophies. We are working so heavily 
on analytics, big data, and of course, automation processes, where Visagi plays a very important role. And finally, Radical. I'm going to share two ongoing initiatives. The first one is Neki. This is the logo. Neki is our virtual bank, where we have roughly half a million users. It's 100% virtual bank. And Rotalo, Rotalo is an online marketplace. It works in a similar manner to eBay, but we offer credit for the buyers and visitors. Now we have four capabilities. The first one, live processes. We started in 2015. We have RPA, robotic process automation, and RDA, robotic desktop automation. We have the center of excellence. I'm going to mention the scope and the main responsibilities later. And we have ACME. I'm sure that you recognize this word with the annoying bear and the coyote. But for us, <laughs> but for us, ACME is a new area that reports directly to me and combines, includes analytics, precisely the center of excellence, MISI, MISI is our productivity model where the team reports every day the core activities, the administration activities, so we can uh, calculate every day, every month, the productivity of our team, 3,300 employees within the uh, customer service and operations area. And we have the E is excellence, operational excellence. Some of our benefits of the digital transformation, and I would like to mention something very important. Normally, we are focused on cost labor, but there are huge opportunities with the digital transformation. Not only in efficiency, we have reduced a lot the operational risk in a very important way. We have increased and improved the service in terms of compliance, of course, in our branches and different channels. And we have uncovered new incomes. So you might ask how you have gained new incomes. We have increased the written off portfolio by 47% using robotics and using, of course, Visagi. Our RPA, robotic process automation ratio, is 1 to 14. Our RDA cost-benefit ratio, I mean bots supporting the front office processes, is 1 to 30. So there are huge, again, opportunities to use these kind of capabilities to uh, have uh, benefits without, with, within, sorry, in our organizations. Okay, let's move to the center of excellence. I mentioned before that we have created an area where we are uh, implementing a new virtual workforce in which we combine human talent, cognitive, analytics, robotics. Why? First, to support the customer experience strategy, and second, to free human talent from repetitive tasks. We have, in our organizations, a lot of manual and repetitive tasks. If we use these capabilities, we will have much more performance. We will have a very important operational risk reduction and other benefits. And we can take the talent to um, use in more important tasks. So going into detail, in our center of excellence, we have basically three main activities. The first one, we have a responsibility in evolution. As you can see, there are four areas, and I would like to mention something very important, change management. We have decided to start with a strategy and end with technology. This is not an IT responsibility. IT plays a very important role defining the architecture, supporting and maintaining. 
but the strategy should be in areas such as operations. We also have been working in uh, areas such as we used to call bots, the implementation we had with RPA, but now we are calling them process assistant. It's very different to talk about bots than process assistant because, because the bot competes with the human talent. And here we have a great opportunity to prepare our, our organizations and our staff to take advantage of the digital transformation. We have also research and development. There are new technologies every day. Technology is available for us, for every company. I think the competitive advantage is how to use the technology, how to prepare our organizations, and how to uh, have the, the, the best use of this. Moving from uh, evolution to implementation, here we have something very important, process intervention. We had a lot of uh, difficulties before because we automated a lot of waste. So process intervention is about taking the process, eliminating any, any, any inefficiencies before automating it. We are using uh, tools such as um, Lean, Say Sigma, Service Design. So we take the process, we eliminate any inefficiency, and then we automate it. Using process assistance bots, using IQ bots, and of course, using Visagi to automate different activities. And finally, we have a continuity. We need to monitor our capabilities. We need, of course, to support it, to maintain it. So it's very important to have a team dedicated on the evolution, implementation, and, of course, the continuity. Look at these figures. We use, as I mentioned before, robotic process automation to support back office and automate back office processes. And we also use robotic desktop automation to automate front office processes. Today, in, one Col in Bank Colombia, we have more than 300 process assistants working and supporting 140 processes. From the front office point of view, we have our process assistant supporting uh, six processes within the branches with a very important efficiency. Today, 85% of our transactions are made in electronic and digital channels. However, our branches are crowded every single day. And more or less 40% of the time in our uh, sales team is dedicated to manual and repetitive tasks. So we have been automating those activities using robotics. Here you can see a couple of awards. I'm going to mention Gartner. We were invited uh, two years ago to uh, participate with 160 uh, companies around the world, um, explaining the projects, products, services we have in digital transformation. We participated with our uh, process assistant strategy we compete in the final against Goldman Sachs and Liberty Mutual, and we got the first place in the Eye of Innovation Award for Financial Services in 2017. Okay, let's talk about our strategic alliance with Visagi. Bank Colombia has more than 16,000 suppliers. And according to their impact in our business, we decided to have 50 strategic partners. So 50 suppliers to be our strategic partners. And I'm very proud to let you know that Visagi is one of the 50. And we are interested in developing a long-term relationship based, of course, in trust, transparency, and results. So being part of the 50 strategic partners 
is a very important issue. And as I said before, we are uh, interested in developing a long-term relationship. So talking about the alliance that started in 2004, at that moment, Visagi supported us in the mortgage process automation with a lot of benefits. Because at that moment, we had a lot of manual and repetitive tasks. We didn't have the opportunity to track the process and the different activities. I forgot to mention something very important. Bank Colombia is listed in the New York Stock Exchange since 1995. So in 2008, we decided to have Visagi supporting us in many servants Oxley activities. We also automated a lot of back office processes and activities. And then in 2010, we moved to consumer credit automation having again a lot of benefits in terms of efficiency, agility, and so on. Uh, up until 2015, our uh, focus automation was based in Colombia. As I mentioned before, we have a presence in Central America, in Panama, El Salvador, and Guatemala. So we decided to go at that moment with Visagi to automate many processes in those banks. And the results? are very important. You may ask, how's the governance? So in Colombia, we have the strategy, the policies within the center of excellence, but we have uh, federal implementation. So we have many users implementing, for example, live processes. We don't have uh, a, a governance de defined to our banks in Central America. We are supporting them with best practices, but of course, there are many opportunities to work on. Finally, in 2018, we started a new challenge from the digital transformation point of view. So we are combining our BPM capabilities with robotics. Let me give you an example. Bank Colombia offers pre-approved credit for current and potential customers. Once the customer accepts the credit offer, Visagi takes over the process. And then Visagi uh, normally uh, communicates with one process assistant, and the bot, in this case, start the payment into the customer account. So we have a great combination between our BPM and robotics. We, ha we have more or less 25 process assistants working with Visagi. As we are going to see uh, later, we are interested in combining uh, Visagi with other capabilities such as RDA, artificial intelligence, analytics, and probably blockchain. John was talking about core processes and non-core processes. We talk about complex processes and simple ones. And we are using Visagi in, in both of them. So we have core implementation with project management, normally initiative that needs integration interfaces, where the IT participation is very, very important. We are implementing, as I mentioned before, agile philosophies. And sometimes these projects take between six and 12 months, sometimes 18, sometimes 24, and sometimes much more because of the complexity. While simple, simple processes, here we have a huge opportunity because our, organiza our organizations are full of minor and low level processes. So here, we don't need uh, an IT participation directly. The user has all the empowerment to implement new flows, but we in the center of excellence approve before putting on production because of the impact that it can uh, has. And we have implementation within hours and sometimes in a few days. If you look on the left side, between 2008 and 2015, 
we implemented with Visagi eight complex processes and 140 simple ones. What happened between 2016 and 2018? We included Panama with three complex processes with 6,500 users, but then we have an impressive increase in simple processes. So we passed from 140 to plus 1,500 processes, having more than 20,000 users. So you might ask, why? What did you do? The answer is first, the implementation of the center of excellence, having the strategy, having the policies, but second, having the end user empowerment. We have hundred thousands of users implementing new flows every single day. Some recommendations. First one, start with the strategy and end with technology. This is not a technology responsibility. Again, technology plays a very important role. Second, the C-level commitment. We need budget, we need, we need another capabilities, of course. Third, having a process architecture well-defined with different methodologies to uh, the process intervention before automating it. Having a center of excellence is very important. We have uh, 20 people working within the bank, and we have 40 from outsourcing, working every day in evolution, implementation, and of course, supporting. And having the end-to-end -end vision, we started also uh, automating some activities, but at that moment, we didn't have the end-to-end -end vision. So in this case, there, there, there is a lot of waste and inefficiencies also. Finally, next steps. As I told you before, we are combining our BPM with robotic process automation. We are piloting a couple of initiatives with blockchain. I think we have a different uh, point of view about blockchain, uh, but there are a lot of opportunities to use this capability in our organizations. And we are working also heavily on analytics from the process mining point of view, how to take advantage of the autom automation, and of course, supporting our strategy from the customer experience point of view, and also excellence in operations. So we have five minutes. Again, thank you very much for attending our presentation. And if you have any questions, please proceed. Thank you so much. As Jorge said, we, thank you, Jorge. We have some time for questions. So uh, I think we've got a roving mic somewhere. A couple of questions here. Should we go here first and then the la lady second? Sorry, Tim, just here. Thank you. Okay. Hi. You mentioned um, that you uh, um, have users who implement things on their own, but you provide some governance over them. Can you talk a little bit about what that governance consists of and how you make it work? Okay, great, great question. Thank you. Um, the governance is about what kind of processes can be implemented using Visagi Live Processes functionality? Uh, because, you know, sometimes users are interested in go ahead. Um, having uh, also uh, security policies, uh, despite we are not using Live Processes to integrate applications, you know, there are information flowing into the different um, users. So, so mainly is how to use it, what for, and of course avoiding any risks such as security or operational risk. Yeah, thank you. Isn't the question here? Thank you. Uh, 
Where all uh, this all stands with risk management strategy of the bank and uh, the challenges you may have faced as you move with the automation process, uh, you spoke about the best practices uh, that may be different than the, we have in the United States, but going with any digital process, you mentioned back office processes, 140 processes you have done. So my question is specific to the where all uh, risk management strategy uh, this fits into as you do any automation work. Okay. Um, as I mentioned during my presentation, we have more than 3,000 employees within the customer uh, service and operations area. So we have a lot of manual and repetitive tasks. And m many of the risks were precisely because of the manual and repetitive tasks. So automating it has uh, reduced a lot the operational risk. For example, in our asset management company, we reduced 28% of the operational risk. And you know, having operational risk is very expensive for our organizations. So automating manual and repetitive tasks will reduce a lot the risk, right? We know very well that, that there are more than one product in the BPM arena. Could you talk us what are the main benefits to work with Visagi? <laughs> very Should good question. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> okay, um, I mentioned that we have decided to have 50 strategic partners. And we have found in Visagi lot of knowledge, a lot of support. Uh, we feel that we are a very important customer for Visagi. Visagi, as we saw yesterday, is in many different countries. So the knowledge transfer has been very important. They are interested in going forward, I mean being ahead, using not only uh, their application, and combining with other capabilities such as robotics and so on. So I'll say that um, it's a, a strategic partner also that hear us and support very well in our strategy. We have one meeting every year where they share um, the best practices, the opportunities we have within the bank. So for us, it's, it's very important. It's very important. It's a real strategic partner. One more. Hi, uh, could you share with us your thoughts on where you see RPA and blockchain intersecting? As I said before, blockchain is a new capability. We are piloting two initiatives, but we don't have we still don't have uh, any uh, business case to share. Uh, because if you read about blockchain, every paper will say something different. So unfortunately, we don't have still we, we still don't have any uh, product uh, any product or service in production. So I'll give you a quick one. I'll just talk up easier. Oh, all right. Um, it's not a quick answer, I'm sure. You, you're <laughs> scaling to like a hundred thousand people. Well, 100,000 processes, I heard you say, something like that. Yeah. And, and I suppose the question is, how do you get that scale? Just talk us through, in your mind, just very quickly, the sort of high points of how you build that scale in a, in a large organization. Okay. Within operations, we have, as I've been saying, a lot of manual and repetitive tasks. But in the whole organization, you will find manual and repetitive tasks. So once the users understand this capability, they, they start uh, identifying opportunities. So once we give them the knowledge, they'll start immediately implementing new flows. So today we have more than 1,500, and I'm quite sure that we will have maybe twice next year because of the amount of uh, minor and low level uh, processes and the amount of manual and repetitive tasks we have. So um, our, our, our users are, are, are asking for more 
and in this case, not only uh, having BPM capabilities, combining with, as I said also, with RPA, RDA, and artificial intelligence. So I hope maybe to be here next year and share uh, not 1,500, instead 3,000 or more. Okay, wonderful. I think that's, okay. we're out of time, so. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to ask Jorge to stay on the uh, stage just for one minute more. Um, this afternoon you'll see us launch the second part of our Transformer Awards, where we're going to recognize customers for their excellence in their, in their programs. Unfortunately, Jorge is leaving us just before um, the afternoon plenary session, so I need to bring one of those awards forward. Um, let me just read off a little bit of the description of the award we want to give Jorge and his team today. So this award is called the Best in Agile Operations. It's designed to highlight an organization that's delivered incredible, incredible results from treating agility as a strategic imperative and using technology to create a culture of collaboration between business and IT. Our winner is Bank Columbia. <laughs> And you can tell why, right? Um, I think you've already explained. But for the rapid automation of over thousands of processes, including use of Bizarji's live process for over a thousand of those processes, empowering your users to transform the business incredibly quickly across all of the countries we saw you outline there. Um, and do please go and discover more about live processes out in a demo pod area after our plenary session concludes. But if you can help me in congratulating Jorge, for the award. Well done, sir. Well done. We got a photo. Okay. We're done. We're done. All right. Okay.